the farmers had some grievances about there being different cesses that operate on government mandis and private mandis about the future of the minimum support price the government has accepted those key demands that the farmers have been making would you now at the start of the new track accept that most farmers are being unreasonable by rejecting the the government's rather gracious and magnanimous offer if you say you want all or nothing that's hardly the right way to approach any negotiation you see what you get you try and maximize your pie and you make the best of the current situation what do you make of the approach that the farmers have taken devendra sharma well there is no denying that uh, there is a climb down by the government uh, as far as the farmers demands were concerned and uh, it has uh, you know Uh, been soft on couple of uh, points that the farmers raised for instance you talked about the electricity bill and uh, also about the stubble burning uh, uh, you know uh, punishment and so on but uh, i think uh, where the where the talks are struck and where i think the farmers are still uh, uh, not going to give up or, or are not willing to give up is on the issue of uh, uh, msp the minimum support price uh, you are very right that the, the government has agreed to allow the state governments to 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 amend the apm and to ensure that you know uh, they can have the taxes uh, also in the private mandis that will come up and uh, that, that is one thing that the government has done but it has left it to the state governments to do it. now there are two questions here uh, you know uh, rahul uh, first is that um, apmc mandis we have about we have about 7000 apmc mandis in india whereas we need 42000 uh, mandis regulated mandis in this country if we have to provide a mandi uh, at 5 km radius to the farmers so we have a long way to cover if only we take care of 7000 mandis i think uh, there is a huge huge market uh, uh, which is which is left or a huge segment of population involved in agriculture which still is uh, devoid of markets in that particular sense that you have a regulated mandi uh, the other part i think the farmers are concerned and i think let's be very clear the loud message from this farmer association is that they want an assured price and a short price can come through minimum support price now no. the point is if the ha. industry is so excited that they that price just let me finish for a minute you know that they, they, if they if the industry is going to give a hard price if the if the economists are telling us that farmers will get a hard price if the policy makers are telling that farmers will get a hard price hard price to what the benchmark we have only is msp so if everybody is willing to give a, a price over msp over and above msp please tell me then what is the problem in making msp a legal instrument no, a legal i, I, I don't know devendra sharma where you studied economics or what your economic philosophy is how can the price of any product the quantity of which is not known the quality of which is not known the demand of which is not known the supply of which is not known be mandated under law that goes against the very premise of how any free market functions now gurjar and das what are you making of the government's adjustments the government accepting a lot of the key demands but the likes of devendra sharma say if you think corporates will be good for farmers then guarantee that you will buy above the minimum support price is now come and got stuck on that issue of whether minimum support price can be mandated by law or not you know this is ironical because we are giving in these laws freedom azadi to the farmer and the reality is that farmer has been it's like a bird a chidiya jo pinjre mein baithi rehti hai usko azadi do pinjre ko kholo you open the bird cage and the bird is unwilling to fly so the farmers have got over all these 50 years so used to a system which is a third rate system which was based on scarcity when we have plenty today and it has uh, the whole scenario has changed they want to stick to it and they just the 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 fortunate thing is that agriculture is also a state subject and so the way forward could be that you treat states independently in other words most of this problem arises in punjab only 6% of our farmers take advantage of msp and really these are rich farmers 
financially they have larger lands and they are also the alliance in alliance with the arathias who are also rich who have given who have who earn 1500 to 3000 crores a year so they are going to lose because there'll be competition 